Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at how a judge and police have slammed a drugs lord whose empire came crashing down when he was pulled over in his Mercedes with £10,000 in his boot. Jordan Clements, 27, from Failsworth in Oldham, was raking so much money from his role as the head of a local drugs gang that he bought a £313,000 luxury holiday pad in Dubai and walked around with a £34,000 Rolex watch on his wrist. Mr. Clements distributed wholesale quantities of cocaine, heroin and MDMA from a safe house on Oak Road, Whitefield, while second in command Anthony Frost, 27, ran the city centre cocaine supply operation out of his £1,800 a month luxury apartment in the northern quarter. However, after a raid at a safe house and police pulled over Mr. Clements' Mercedes with his personalised B055 number plate, and with Mr. Frost and co-defendant Marcel Madden as passengers, they were brought to justice. And their scathing words for the gang from one of the city's senior judges as he handed the trio and two other men, Nathan Lee, 31, and Mohammed Sawa, 27, long prison sentences. Judge Hilary Manley told them before sending them down, this was a large-scale, organized and efficient conspiracy to traffic wholesale quantities of Class A drugs. Large profits were made, particularly by you, Jordan Clements, as reflected in your ability to enter into a scale agreement to purchase a property in Dubai and wear in a £34,000 Rolex watch. The judge went on to say that Manchester, like other places around the country, suffered from the blight caused by criminal gangs who profited from drug dealing. Police said the drugs they flooded the streets with would have caused misery across the city. Detective Inspector Lee Griffin of GMP Serious and Organised Crime Group said, During the course of the investigation, the group were observed and the key players responsible for conspiring to bring multiple kilos of cocaine, heroin and MDMA to the streets of Manchester were soon identified. Drugs are destructive and blight our communities as a result of the operation. These men are now behind bars where they should be. Alaric Bassano, prosecuting, told Manchester Crown Court from early June 2018 to late September 2018, the four defendants, excluding Mr Madden, were part of an organised crime group engaged in their trafficking of wholesale quantities of Class A drugs. Several kilos of such drugs were trafficked. The value was substantial and the profits handsome. At the top of the gang was the high living Jordan Clements. Police gang an operation into his gang in June 2018 by conducting secret surveillance on his safe house as a humble terraced home in Oak Lane, Whitefield, the court was told. Officers watched as Mr. Clements and co-defendants Mr. Sawa and Mr. Frost made regular visits to the home before carrying out a raid a month later, seizing drugs worth up to £1 million on the streets. In a locked cupboard under the stairs, officers found almost three kilos of cocaine mixed with adulterants together with crack cocaine with a street value of up to £408,000 heroin worth up to £430,000 and a kilo of high purity ecstasy said to be worth as much as £86,000 when sold on. Also undercovered were scales, gloves, spoons, a bowl, packaging and a pan for cooking up crack cocaine. They also found an Uzi submachine gun, a magazine and 47 rounds of ammunition in a bag also hidden in the cupboard under the stairs. Mr Clements wasn't at the address but Following a flurry of telephone calls, he flew to Malaga the next day, the court heard. Despite the raid, the drug supply operation continued and police watched on as Mr. Frost, Mr. Lee and Mr. Clements, who returned from Spain, went on their lucrative drugs business. Mr. Lee and Mr. Frost were seen frequently seen going in and out of a luxury two-bed apartment at Ashton House in the Northern Quarter. Mr. Frost could afford to pay £1,800 a month for his rented pad. By chance, Mr. Clements' Mercedes was stopped by police for an unconnected matter on August 30th, 2018. Wearing a £34,000 Rolex watch, Mr. Clements was at the wheel, and whilst Mr. Frost and Mr. Madden were passengers, in the boot, police found £10,000 in cash, as well as three mobile phones protected by encrypted software. Also on board was a purchase agreement in Mr. Clements' name for a property worth £313,000 in Dubai. When police raided Mr. Frost's Northern Quarter apartment in September 2018, officers found a significant cocaine distribution operation as well as £34,000 in cash stuffed in a bag and debtors' lists. They also found a knuckle duster and a BB gun as well as a wardrobe full of designer gear worth £7,000 and a cash counting machine. 
When they moved to arrest the conspirators, police found that Mr. Clements had used four encrypted mobile phones, while they also uncovered two machetes and a baseball bat when they raided Mr. Madden's home in Miles Platting, as well as evidence of drug dealing. In all six encrypted mobile phones were seized, but police could only decrypt one of them, revealing drug-related communication between Mr. Clements and others. In one message, Mr. Frost laments, gonna have to put my prices up. There is a discussion about wages and paper, the latter believed to be the slang reference to cash. A financial investigation showed that Mr. Clements had already paid two of 10 months installments for a £313,000 apartment in Dubai, while he was also shelling out £350 per month to lease his Mercedes. The Mercedes has a personalised reg of B055NGR. Prosecutor Mr. Bassano said Mr. Clements was at the top of the gang's hierarchy, so the number plate was not mere bravado. Andrew Natal, defending Mr. Clements, said his client knew that Uzi was at the house in Whitefield, but denied it was his. The court heard it was not in working order, but could easily be fixed. Jonathan Turner, defending Mr. Frost, said his client, who has a child, had worked as a crane controller, earning £1,300 per week and so he was already used to living an extravagant lifestyle. Mr. Frost's parents had disowned him, he said. Richard Varden, defending Mr. Lee, told the court his client's personality had changed since suffering a brain injury in a motorbike accident. He had acted only as a courier. The court heard that Mr. Sawa and Mr. Madden had not enjoyed any of the trappings of the operation, although they had taken part. Mr. Clements, 27, of Byron Terrace in Valesworth, was jailed for 15 years after he admitted three counts of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, possession of a prohibited firearm, and possession of criminal property. He had a series of previous convictions to his name, including for dealing Class A drugs, and have served a previous five-year sentence. Anthony Frost, 27, of Ashton House in the Northern Quarter, was imprisoned for eight years and four months after pleading guilty to one count of conspiracy to supply Class 8 drugs and possessing criminal property. He also had previous drug trafficking convictions to his name. Nathan Lee, 31, of Leighton Moor Road in Northern Den, was jailed for six years and nine months. He pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. He also had previous drug offences relating to cannabis to his name. Mohamed Sawa, 27, of Enver Road in Crumpsall, was jailed for six years and nine months after he admitted three counts of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. He also had previous Class A drug offences to his name. Marcel Madden, 25, of Waybridge Road in Miles Platting, was jailed for four years and three months after he admitted guilty to possessing Class A drugs with intent to supply. He had previous convictions, including for possessing a firearm. He was out of prison on license at the time he became involved in the racket. Mr. Clements and Mr. Frost had time added to their sentences after they admitting failing to provide the passwords to their encrypted phones when ordered to do so. So what are your thoughts about Mr. Clements and how he ran a highly profitable drugs empire from Manchester and even had a luxury apartment in Dubai, a Mercedes and a Rolex to his name? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.